What's going on, all my friends out there in YouTube land? Farley here. Tonight, I want to discuss a topic, and uh, I'm going to call this, What Do You Think? Because I'm going to give my opinion, but I want to hear kind of everyone's different uh their you know opinions on this and their take so um as many of you are well aware Metallica bought the rights to all of their um music and has been steadily remastering all their old albums um on their own label blackened recordings and so so far they've put out Kill 'em All Ride the Lightning recently Master of Puppets and uh, a couple weeks ago, they put out Garage Days Re-Revisited, their 1987 album, Remastered. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why you would remaster that album. First off, um, it was meant to sound like a garage recording. It was, you know, basically they had lost Cliff. They had a new bass player. They kind of went in and just decided to have a little fun uh, and record some of their favorite um, new wave of British heavy metal uh, band songs uh, along with some punk with The Misfits and um, The Weight. Um, and I think it sounds perfect for what they were trying to achieve. You know, they weren't trying to make a new album. They weren't trying to make a ton of money. They priced it, of course, at five ninety eight because it was called the five ninety eight EP. And one of the things that was really, really cool about it is, is you get to hear Metallica doing their heroes. You know the the music that influenced them, and it was just a you know a, you could tell it was a really, really loose and informal. But I've always thought it sounded great. It's always been one of my favorite. Metallica albums, even though it's an album full of covers, um, I always enjoyed that, and I actually don't even mind the covers they do on Garage Inc. Even though I'm not a fan of Metallica post the Black album, I don't mind listening to some of those covers they did on those. I've always said Metallica is a great band when it comes to playing covers. Um, they do it better than most bands can, and. Um, so anyway, so they decided to re-release it, which I'm okay. I'm 100% fine with re-releasing it, doing some repressings of it. Uh, a lot of people can't afford the OG pressings. Uh, a lot of people want it on cassette. They want it on vinyl. They want it on CD. And you know, Metallica has ma made all three of those formats available. Uh, the cool thing is they've re reissued the cassette as well. Where both sides, uh, both A and B, play the the same songs, just like the original, and I think that's awesome. So, you know, now you have an affordable version of this album that you can listen to and not have to, you know, pay the the what people are asking for for the original uh, copies because there hasn't been a repressing. So, but uh, you know, I don't, not that I know of. There may be a repressing I'm not familiar with, but. Again, I'm, I have no problem with them doing a repressing. I just don't understand why you would remaster an album that was made to sound raw to begin with and, and uh, made to sound, you know, it was a full of energy. But, but you know, what is it? Say on the album, not well produced. Um, it wasn't mixed a whole lot. It wasn't overproduced by a long shot. So I don't really understand what you achieved by remastering it. So what do you think? You think it's a good idea to remaster Garage Days re-revisited, or should you leave it the way it is and just do a reissue uh, and put out more copies from the original tapes? That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. You know, here it is. You know, it's 30 years now since uh, Injustice for All and still no remaster of that album. The one album that Metallica put out that needs the most work. And I mean, not, not to say, you know, go crazy. I love the dry tone of the guitars. Um, it's just the only thing that I really would like for them to mess with on that is the bass and so otherwise I really really enjoy the mix uh, on Injustice for All but to get back to my point is is here, you know now's the 30th anniversary of Injustice for All released in 1988 and we're getting a remaster of a covers album 
that was meant to sound like it was recorded in a garage. I don't understand it personally. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know some of you uh, are probably grabbing it. Um, maybe some of you just want a pressing of it and don't really care if it's the original uh, sound or the remastered sound. Anyway, I'd like to know what you guys and gals think. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always. Farley out.